This is my wife's old car. It's a 2003 Volkswagen Beetle with a two liter engine in it. And I'm gonna show you how to replace the radiator electric cooling fan assembly. And uh, this car is for sale, by the way. As you can see the sign in the windshield, we bought a 2014 Beetle Turbo. It's an R-Line series. It's got all the fancy wheels on and stuff. Really like it. And there's my uh, nine month old Basset Hound. Hi Huxley. Hey buddy. Say hi. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's not too bad of a job. It's just a little tight in there. Uh, I'll show you what tools you need. You don't need too much stuff. You need a T25 Torx bit. You need a T30, which I think most sets are 3 8 drive, but it's going to be hard to get a 3 8 ratchet in there, so I use my uh, quarter inch to 3 8 drive adapter on my quarter inch ratchet. You might need a little quarter inch drive extension. And uh, need a 7 millimeter socket. And this little uh, bit ratchet is nice for tight spots, and I'll show you where I use that. The bit just slides into the into the head of the ratchet. It's just kind of about held by friction. I got this at AutoZone for fifteen dollars, and it comes with a few bits. and It's a pretty sweet little ratchet. I haven't had it but oh maybe a month. And then uh, here's the here's the old fan module, and we're looking at it just like it sets on the car. The top is at the top of the screen. And uh, here's all the screws. They're all the same. These are these are the T30 Torx. You got a mounting hole here, 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 and here. And I'll show you, of course, where that is on the car. And then each fan has three mounts. You'll see them. Three each on the fan. And uh, somebody told me they thought you could get that whole module assembly out in one piece but i looked at it and i thought there is no way it's pretty tight anyway so i'll show you how i did it uh i, I installed a new doorman i got it at AutoZone. i believe o'reilly's has it also there's the part number of course you need to check it for your car but i think they're probably about all the same uh for those years that are around 2003 but what i did is this, this plastic clip right here, I'll show you that a little better in a minute. Your harnesses are clipped into that. They actually, I'm going to try to do, I'm trying to do this one hand. I'm sorry, I'm just shooting this with my phone. But kind of spread this. This clips all the way down into here in this slot. Both of them do. So you need to just spread this ear up. And it'll unclip and you can slide the harness connector off. You can unplug it if you can get to it first or, or either way. I'll show you the other end of the connector. There's a button about right here. You push down and that unplugs. And you do the same with the other one. Just open, pull that up, open that up, slide that off the bracket or unplug it first if you can. And then uh, these just set in these slots here. Okay, and this snaps into these holes like that, but it, it's hard to unsnap it to get this off of the car, so just leave it on there, and it really didn't cause a problem getting this out of there. But what I did, of course, I'll show you on the car here in a minute. What I did, this is the passenger side fan. Unbolt it. I'll show you how to get to the screws in a minute, and take it off, and take it out first. And then take the larger fan, which is the driver's side, take it out and slide it out first. And then you can unbolt the shroud, the plastic housing there, and take it out. Which, after you get the fans off, the, the big shroud, it, it comes out pretty easy. All right, let's kind of show you how to do this. I've got the job done, but you know, I can't shoot a video and, and take bolts out. You know, it just take too long. So I'm just going to run through it with you. Take the uh, dipstick out. And then this cover here, just pull up on, on each side of the front. It just unsnaps and then it pulls off of that right there. Just want to 
grommet. Okay, let me get my flashlight. Okay. There's your passenger side fan. There's the driver's side fan. Like I said, I've got the new one installed and it's already in place. While we're up here, I'll show you. There's the uh, one of the top mounting screws there. There's one there. There's one there. And this one's the tricky one. Right here by the upper radiator hose. That's where I use that short, small ratchet to get in there and see if I can show you. You got your uh, secondary air injection pump right here. Here's your upper radiator hose. Here's your power steering, your battery. Anyway, I reach my hand kind of up under the radiator hose. You can see my fingers touching the screw right now. And I actually got my other hand my right hand down in this area, kind of had to cram both hands in there with that little ratchet and take that screw out. That was really the hardest part of the job. So that's about it on top. Go underneath. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I left my flashlight up there. Hold on a second. Okay, you've got a splash shield underneath. It's just hanging in place. Uh, there's four, there's two screws on each side. They're T25 Torx, and it just slides off. Slide it off. Okay, hope you can see down here, it gets a little tight. And uh, let's see. Okay, first of all, there is a plastic clip that holds the lower radiator hose, and I've just got it kind of sitting in place. It snaps, I don't have it quite snapped down right here. Take a little screwdriver and pop it up on each side. But first of all, I'll show you how to get it off of the hose. I'm trying to get my light on it. Sorry about that. I'm trying, I've got a headlamp on and I'm trying to get the light just right. Anyway, you can see the teeth right there. There, I clicked it in. What you do is you stick a little screwdriver right in that slot there and open that up and that those teeth will let go. So do that first and then unsnap that off of the fan. And then, Here's your lower radiator hose and power steering hose. What I did, I took a wire tie right there and right there. And I wire tied it to that pipe right there. And then there's a hole in the engine block right there. Run a wire tie through that around those two hoses and kind of pull them towards the rear of the car. Hope you can see this, it's pretty tight down here. Okay, and then, okay, here's, here's the connectors. Uh, like I said this is Dorman and the wiring harness. I love Dorman stuff, it always fits pretty good, but they goofed just a little bit. The wiring harness was a little too short and it wouldn't stamp into that plastic holder that I showed you on the old one. So uh, don't even put that back on. What I did is, uh, you can see my wire tie right there. I ran that wire tie through the two holes in the shroud that holds that plastic clip on. And uh, of course I didn't realize it until I was going back together. What you need to do is take, put a wire tie through those two holes and just let it hang there before you even put the shroud back up because it was kind of tricky getting a wire tie ran through there uh, once I had it all mounted. But anyway, here's the bottom, looking at the bottom of the 
passenger side fan. There's the bot. There's only three screws. There's your bottom screw. And the tricky part is when you're sliding it down the uh, back of the motor right there is real tight in this area right here and while you're coming down and then the front of the fan actually kind of rubs the housing right in here but it will come down this is a air conditioner hose right here so I kind of had to flex it to the rear of the car it's kind of tight you kind of got to force it a little bit but be careful and it will come out so take it off first same thing with the driver's side it's kind of tight coming down you could take your oil filter off i don't really think it would help any because it's not really it, in the way it's just hitting these hoses and stuff when you're pulling the driver's side fan down but uh I think I take the all the four top screws off of the fans first, and then you still got your bottom uh, screw on each fan hold, holding it in place. Uh, I'd get, of course, get get it all unplugged and unclipped and everything first, and get it ready to come down. And then start taking your screws out. But uh, you can get that down, and then uh, if you get the fans out, uh, the shroud bolts. There's a bottom one, uh, and there's a bottom one right there those are t30 also and then the top ones you'll, you'll see them they're not too hard to get to and then you take the shroud out i believe uh i pulled the right the passenger side out first and kind of went behind this is your receiver dryer for your air conditioner that silver uh, cylinder there i believe i pulled that out kind of past that and then behind it Stuck the right side of the shroud kind of in that area and kind of up high. And then I pulled the left side down first, I believe is how I did it. So anyway, uh, like I said, uh, the harness was too long. So I just wire tied the connectors. Those, those slots kind of made it together right there. And uh, I stacked them right there on top of each other. Put that wire tie around there. And uh, works pretty good. Just make sure that you've got clearance right here with your harness and in your fan, fan blade so it doesn't rub. And uh, oh, another thing, let me get up and I'll show you. The Dorman, the new one has seven millimeter screws holding it on. So, uh, just be aware of that. One more thing, I looked at a different brand of a uh, camera. I think maybe it's Four Seasons from O'Reilly's. And just by the picture, I could tell that there weren't screws here on the fans. There weren't mounting screws, but it looked like it was just kind of pressed onto a stud and was like molded on there. So it doesn't look like you could unbolt the fans. So. I didn't think that'd work. I didn't think you'd get that whole assembly up in there if it was all one assembly. So be aware of that. You need something that has screws in it where you can take it out and put the fans in, in one at a time. I believe that's it. If I think of something else, I'll put it in the description box. So you might uh, drop down the description box and see if I missed anything. But anyway, uh, that's about it. And thanks for watching.